I'm going to look at reverse Polish notation. In this notation, the operator appears after the operands or the numbers within arithmetic expressions. This is different to what we're used to where the operator appears between the operands, so between the numbers. This notation is known as infix notation. The reason why looking at postfix notation or reverse Polish notation is useful is because it's quicker for computers to evaluate expressions because there's no need for brackets, there's no need for the computer to backtrack along the expression to perform the evaluation. We're now going to look at an example in reverse Polish notation and we're going to convert that into infix notation and we're going to evaluate it as well. So let's first of all write down our example that we're going to look at here. So this is our reverse Polish notation expression here. We're also going to need a stack. So let's let's just do the stack as well. This is our stack here. And the way we're going to do this evaluation and the way we're going to do this transformation into infix notation is we start on the left hand side of the expression and take each operator or operand. If it's an operand we add it to the stack. If it's an operator we pop the values off the stack, perform the evaluation and then return the result of that evaluation onto the stack. So let's, let's proceed with this. So starting with a 5, because it's an operand we add it to the stack. Then we come to the 3, well that's also an operand, so we add that to the stack. And then the 1, we add that to the stack too. Now we come across the operator, plus operator here. What we're going to do is pop the two top values on the stack and then apply the operator to those. So we've got the 3 and the 1, so we add those together there. And we need to pop the values off there. And then we return the result of that expression back onto the stack, which is 4. So now we've done the done that operator. Next we come across another operator. This is the minus operator. So in this case we are going to subtract the top value in the stack from the bottom value, so the 5 minus the 4. So we already have the 4 already here, so this is our 4, and then we're going to do 5 minus 4, and again we need to pop these values from the stack and return well, the result of that expression, which is 1. Next we add the 6 to the stack, and then finally we come across the operator multiply, so we need to pop the 6 and the 1 off the stack and perform that evaluation. So we've got the 1 which is which is this expression here. We multiply it by the 6. So again we need to pop these values, values off here. And we've also do that. And we've now 1 times 6, which gives us which gives us 6. So we've evaluated the expression as being 6. We also converted the expression into to infix notation there as well. So we've done two steps there, converting to infix and evaluating the expression.